everyone, I'm Brutazilla, and today I'm going to do my very first book review for you guys. Um, I got I got a couple books I want to do, and uh, I'm going to start off with this one. I'm not going to show you every single thing in this book, but this is The Art of Japanese Monsters by Sean Linkenback. I think that's the last name. Um, what it is is pretty much, it's basically a poster book. Uh, well, not a post, but like a picture, a book, bleh, <laughs> a picture book full of like uh, publicity posters, uh, lobby cards, etc., showing you all the Godzilla movies from the original '54 all the way up to Final Wars, and other kaiju-related movies like Gamera and you know the Gargantuas, uh, you know Rodan, etc., and. Yeah, there, I believe this uh, was released twice. Um, hardcover edition and paperback edition. This is the paperback edition. I got this bad boy at my local comic store. And I couldn't believe it. It was a book I really, really wanted. And But yeah, the cover is really, really funny. Um, it's got these two guys painting a picture. Um, I guess for a billboard or whatever. It looks like a billboard picture they're painting. And it's Godzilla 62 fighting Gamma 67. And I believe in Japanese it probably says Gamma versus Godzilla in kanji right here. Pretty funny. And then here we got. Um, well, let me do a close up of that real quick. Okay. And then we got a little side picture of Jet Jaguar here with. Uh, back for the background they used for Megalon, Godzilla vs. Megalon. And then we go down here, and we got Jet Jaguar again with Jiger, Gamera opponent. Like I guess maybe it's uh, Jet Jaguar versus Jiger. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty funny. And then we got a funny picture here of Ichiro from Godzilla's Revenge with his mom, and he's all happy, I guess, because. I guess he's just happy looking at all the pictures or posters, or maybe he's, they're going to go see a movie. I don't know. <laughs> and, like, I don't know what that is. And then we got a funny picture here of... Um, I might not be able to recognize every single thing in here, but we got Gilala from the Extra Outer Space fighting Daimajin with a bunch of UFOs in the background. Like I said, I don't know what those UFOs come from. I don't remember what, what movie that is, if that's... The Mysterians or something, but yeah. And then we got Angerus fighting Flying Hedra, and or this is Angerus from 55, and then we got the Mysterians Mogura in the background. Pretty funny. Just little, I guess, what ifs. Then you got the spine here. Real quick there. And then on the back here, this is the back here. Now, I'm not going to read all of this to you guys, so I'm going to tell you now, if you guys want to see anything from this book, close up, I mean, like, you know, and you want to read a lot of the stuff in the book, pause my pause the video and read it to your heart's content, because I'm not going to read it all for you guys, so go ahead and pause this now if you want to read all this. I'm trying to show it to you the best I can, but this is pretty much like a, a poster... I think I believe an American poster for Mothra vs. Godzilla. And then there's the retail price there. That's how much I paid for it. Definitely worth the price. It's an amazing book. And I'm going to start off by showing you um, a bunch of pictures or a bunch of um, things from this book. And I'm going to do it in a style where, well, not really style, but I'm just going to show you guys like. Basically, my fav some of my favorites and two of my bros, uh, Leslie Chambers. Uh, check out his YouTube channel, Leslie Chambers, and my other bro, Everett Groundon, uh, Godzilla Fan Freaks, his YouTube channel. I'm going to do like a mix of some of our favorite Godzilla movies, and that's how I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you like their move, their favorites, and then my favorites, like maybe mo usually our top five, but you guys see what I'm talking about, but. Anyway, let's do this. Um, I wrote it down on a piece of paper what I'm going to start off with. So, yeah, the page numbers. I'm going to start off with page 
76 and this is Leslie Chambers favorite perfect Godzilla movie Godzilla or I mean, I was about the Mothra vs. Godzilla or the American title Godzilla vs. The Thing like I said if you guys want to read this pause the video I will try to show it to you guys the best I can if you guys want to read any of this the only thing I do not like about this picture this book is some of the posters um, some of the pictures are big and then some of the pictures are small like this picture would be kind of amazing a little bit bigger but some of them aren't you know as big in this book so that's kind of a downer that every single picture um, isn't big in this book but I get you know I mean it's not a big deal I mean you get the pictures you know it's neat how they can fit all of these pictures into this book because there's so many uh, you know there's so much in this book they cover a whole bunch of uh, monster movies beside you know Godzilla and Gamera and a whole bunch of other monster related movies so like I said if you guys want to see uh, look at this thoroughly please pause the video try to go through this as fast as I can so I have a lot I, I want to show you guys Because it says on the sides what these are, like like right here, it tells you what they are. So, like I said, if you want to pause and see, you guys can see for yourself. And some of them go for a lot of pages, too. They have a lot of pictures for these books. Or, um, blah, blah. <laughs> they got a lot of pictures for some of the movies. Try to speed this up a little. whole bunch here Okay, I think that is, oh, the whole bunch. Like I said, some of them got a whole bunch. <laughs> so I'm going to try to go fast. Kind of blocking the thing with the sh camera shadow. But a lot of great pictures in this book. Just, you know, just on this movie alone. I mean, and I don't know if uh, this book covers every single promotional thing for these movies they do have quite a bit of pictures or you know posters lobby cards whatever they do have a lot but I don't know if it's every single one I seriously doubt that but what you get is really really good Okay, is that it? Yep, that's it. So now, like I said, I'm not going to show you the whole book. I'm just going to go to the pages I marked. So now I've got page 85. Uh, Ghidra, the three-headed monster. Another one of your favorites, Leslie. <laughs> um, go through this kind of quick here. Now this one's, oh, never mind. <laughs> that one's kind of cool because it shows Adult Mothra, even though Adult Mothra wasn't in the movie. Don't know if they planned for, to use the Adult Mothra in this movie. Don't know how many this one's got. Some of them only have like one page, depending on the movie, I guess.
Sorry if the shadow kind of blocks some of it. I'm trying my best here. I said, if you guys want to pause something, go ahead. Or pause this video and, you know, take a good look at the picture better. Because I'm trying to do this kind of quick. Okay, yeah, we got a lot more. <laughs> Whole bunch for this movie. Damn shadow. That's a cool one, showing off uh, King Ghidra's somewhat original colors, where he's looks kind of like he's kind of have purple wings, and it looks like he's spitting fire out of his mouth instead of the lightning bolts or gravity bolts or beams or whatever you want to call them that he do we know he shoots. Okay, that is it. Okay, next up, we got... Just go ahead and do this. Like I said, I don't want to show you guys the whole book. Okay, now we are on Son of Godzilla. Um, this is definitely one of... This is definitely um, probably in my top favorites love this movie. The only Godzilla movie ever to make me cry. Really cute movie. Uh, um, Minya is my favorite uh, Godzilla offspring. Yeah, I think he has quite a bit too, Son of Godzilla here. I love how some of these titles, these German titles, say like something different completely, like Frankenstein or something. It's, I guess that's what it roughly translates to. I don't really understand that, but... And that one's funny, too. It shows King Ghidra, but he wasn't in the movie. <laughs> Okay, last page here. All right, we are done with that one. Now we are going to what's next on the list here. Godzilla vs. Gigan. Now, in my I know in my top ten video, I think I think this was number five on my list. But you know what? I'm gonna have to change it. Uh, I said in my video that sometimes I you know these this I can uh, it's not really official. I kind of tend to move them around, and you know what? I have to move Gigan uh, from my five spot. I'm sorry, but 
you know what it has pretty much moved from number five to number three I really really love this movie a lot Godzilla vs. Gigant is just a really really fun movie to watch I'm a big Gigant fan he's definitely one of my favorite Godzilla monsters I think I showed that already I'm not sure I'm rambling <laughs> but he's, he's definitely probably when it comes to Godzilla monsters Godzilla being number one honestly I, I think Gigant would probably be number two I mean thinking about it right now Gigant is just a awesome 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 monster and I really do love the Showa Gigan the best. I love Fi Final Wars Gigan, but when it comes to the Showa, the Showa was just the best one, in my opinion. Definitely the coolest one. And okay, last page for this. Said I'm trying to trying to go fast as I can. So, if you guys want to see something, pause it, please. Oh, <laughs> I kind of skipped ahead. Now we are on Godzilla vs. Megalon, and I know this is one of your favorites, uh, Everett. Uh, love this movie too. It's got good old Gigan in it. I don't know if I have to rework this one in my top ten, but. I love Gigan, so I might have to one of these days. Something, you know, I don't know. Great movie. Love Gigan. And I know Everett's a big Jet Jaguar fan. Jet Jaguar. Better than Ultraman. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, he's got quite a bit for this one. I don't think I kind of cut that off. I wasn't... Okay. <laughs> that infamous kick. Love that kick. <laughs> Godzilla looks hilarious like that. Uh, definitely an uh, awesome Godzilla moment in that movie when he's just looking around, minding his own business. Just la di da. Then Jet Jaguar just comes out of nowhere. Real funny. Okay, that's it for that. That was, yeah. And now we are on. Hmm, did I skip one? Oh no, that was it. Okay, now we are on number 170. Another favorite of... Well, this is both one of your favorites. I know you guys both like this movie, uh, Leslie and Everett. Um, great movie. Uh, Godzilla Fan Freaks, or Everett's uh, favorite, I believe, kaiju from this one is King Caesar. I know he's a King Caesar fan. Planet of the Apes ripoff. <laughs> I love how Angus is in this movie too, because I, I love Angus too. I, you know, Angus is another one of my favorite kaiju's, and. It's funny because in this movie, I never noticed it until I saw it on Facebook that somebody had posted this or something. Don't remember where I saw it exactly, but Angerus is 
fangs are gone. I don't know why they took them off or if they fell off, but they just don't exist anymore in this movie. And they were in every other movie he was in, Destroy All Monsters and uh, Godzilla vs. Gigam, but Mega, uh, this movie they were absent, and I never noticed that until someone actually said something about it. I don't remember what group it was, but I was like, what? And I, so I watched, I'm like, holy crap. I couldn't believe it. It was weird. <laughs> Okay, now we are on uh, page 173, and this is definitely your all-time favorite movie ever, Terror of Mechagodzilla. Leslie's Mothra vs. Godzilla, Everett or Godzilla Fan Freaks, this one. I believe they used this one as a VHS cover for the American release. Remember seeing that at uh, my local uh, video store when I was a kid a lot. Obviously, I rented it a lot. That's one's just weird. It's got King Kong on it. And then this one's funny too, how they actually show uh, King Caesar in that one. Like I said, a lot of misleading uh, pictures. And titles too. <laughs> Yep, I know. Uh, Everett, my, my bro Everett is a big old Titanosaurus fan. Titanosaurus is an awesome monster. Can't wait to get the X Plus figure of him when Diamond reissues him. Okay. Alright, now we're on my all time favorite Godzilla movie Godzilla 1984. Four, or Godzilla 1985 or The Return of Godzilla however you want to uh, pronounce it love this movie I love the suit to me this is without a doubt the perfect Godzilla movie That's pretty funny. Hopefully it's kind of focusing. So I'm kind of going, trying to go fast, as fast as I can. I know this video is going to be really long. Because I'm covering a lot of Godzilla movies. And I kind of own a reprint of this picture with uh, Kenpachiro Satsuma's autograph on it. So I'm happy to have a reprint of that. This picture here. And that is it for that. Now we are on my second favorite Godzilla movie and uh, Everett's favorite, second favorite Godzilla movie. Godzilla vs. Biollante. The, the direct sequel to Godzilla... 85. It's an awesome poster there.
That one's even better, though. That art, that just some amazing artwork. Biolanti is such a cool kaiju. Uh, I didn't focus well, did it? Hopefully, a lot of my videos didn't do that, or a lot of the pictures when I was going by didn't do that. Okay, that's that one, and now we are on to another favorite of my bros Leslie's, Godzilla vs. King Ghidra, or Ghidorah, I just like pronouncing it Ghidra, that's just my personal preference. He goes by Godzilla, or he goes by Ghidra, Ghidorah. Uh, Monster Zero, whatever you want to call him. Love that picture there. And then Mecha King Ghidra. It's awesome. Uh, Mecha. And I believe this is like the artwork we got for our V8, for like the VHS tapes and then the Blu rays and DVDs, I believe, for uh, what Sony released us. Okay, now, what was that? 82. Now the last one um, Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Or Destroya. Again, I call it Destroyer because that's just my personal preference. So yeah, destroyer for me. And like I said before, you know, just got to respect everybody's opinions about movies and the way they like to pronounce them. Um, you know, it's just the, the pretty much the right thing to, to do, the the and definitely the coolest thing to do. Treat others the way you always want to be treated. Treat others with respect and they'll treat you with respect. That one's a cool one because it shows, since this is supposed to be the last one, it shows like all the, I guess the main posters going all the way from the Showa all the way to Space Godzilla. That one's kind of cool. Okay, that's it guys. Now like I said, I didn't want to show you guys the whole book, but I hope that was, you know, thorough enough for you guys of what to expect in in, in this awesome book if you guys get it yourself. Um it's an amazing amazing book. I love this book. I am glad I got it. Um I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon still. I I'm not sure. I got mine in a local comic store. Um, pretty sure I sell on Amazon and maybe Barnes and Noble too, you know, bookstores like that, or maybe eBay, you know, but I would check Amazon and Barnes and Noble maybe, but yeah, definitely worth adding to your kaiju collection if you love, uh, you know, if you, if you, if you're a book collector or like if you like just the pictures, it's basically a picture book, there's really not too much to read besides like the little description of the movies and then, uh, the description of some of the pictures and saying what it, where it comes from, uh, the poster uh, or a lobby card, whatever. But yeah, definitely an awesome book to add to your guys' collection. Highly recommend this book. That's it. So if you liked what you saw, please comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more. And until and uh, blah. <laughs> until next time, everyone. Go go Godzilla. <laughs>